fight of the evening. Three three-minute rounds in an amateur flyweight bout. Introducing your first warrior. Fighting out of the blue corner, this man's a mixed martial artist making his amateur debut. He stands 167 centimeters tall and weighs a ready 56.8 kilograms. Fighting out of Lebanon, please welcome Wissam Sandakli! And his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner, this man's a mixed martial artist with a perfect amateur record of four wins and no losses. He stands 167 centimeters tall and weighs already 57 kilograms. Fighting out of the magnificent kingdom of Bahrain and KHK MMA, give it up for Mohammed Zuhair. With Sam in the blue corner, Mohammed Zuhair. In the red, we are underway. This flyweight contest scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And even just in that opening exchange, you can see the heavy hands, but the KHK man marauding forward, catches Sadakli with a nice shot. We've seen Zuhir fight before. This is a bad little man. I've got to say the confidence though with Sam, even on the walk out there of Muhammad, he was taking in everything, big deep breaths. Really enjoying this moment, this debut here, and it's a big debut against a highly touted young talent in Mohamed Zuhair. And those kicks are absolute money in the bank, but there is that beautiful KHK style. Use your strikes to set up the takedown, and from here I expect to see some serious work from Zuhair. What an entry on that takedown, Mohamed Zuhair. Double leg, turned the corner, took it to the mat. Wissam now on his back. We know his striking prowess for you've talked about that Muay Thai background, the kickboxing background, but you have to be a complete fighter in mixed martial arts. And we're gonna learn a lot about his ground game right now as he's on the bottom against Mohammed. There's a little bit of a debate in mixed martial arts. It used to be when you took somebody down, you wanted to press them up against the cage so they couldn't use their guard effectively. But now fighters have developed being able to use the cage in order to stand up. Some fighters prefer to actually be off the cage. We're getting a little view now on what our KHK fighter chooses and he does seem to want to have his man up against the cage so he can press him against it nullifying the guard and raining down shots he's doing a beautiful job of just neutralizing his opponent right now he's happy to sit in that anchor position the half guard that we're seeing popularized a lot more in mma fighters seem to be happy to sit in the half guard posture land strikes from there and that's exactly what he's doing brian yeah and you saw as well there from up with sam he was trying to get his back to the cage but every time he set that post it was taken away from by muhammad Strong opening start here from Zuhair. Almost a minute left in this round. And he's almost triangles the legs there again, solidifying the position. He's, what I love that he's doing, he's calm. He's not taking any unnecessary risks. He's solidifying a position and then working from there. Very intelligent mixed martial arts. And Ki Kirik, when you are in this bottom position under this sort of pressure by somebody who knows how to apply that pressure in the right places, it's, it is literally like drowning. This is, what you're seeing is the evolution of martial arts. Mixed martial arts was born from Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. In Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, the bottom half guard is the single most productive position you can be in. It's where the most points are won. It's the opposite in mixed martial arts. It's basically being half mounted, if not worse. Some space being made there from Wissam, but straight away, back on top, into the guard goes Mohammed. Big shots coming down, Phil. And from inside the guard, he's throwing big shots. He's happy. Just Oi, may may try, left, oh, nice. May try and swing the legs here, but Wizan really needs to do everything. He needs a little bit, a, a greater degree of urgency, Brian. Get that back to the cage. And it's it's easy for me to say in this position, <laughs> sitting here, but I'd like to see a little bit more urgency. Get the feet on the hips. Try and make something happen. Shift the hips. Throw up even the threat of a submission. What, round one in the bank. And what we have learned there, Kirik, is there is a very obvious game plan and he imposed it back at Brave 45 against Ali Abhamda. And he's imposing it once again against Wissam. What does Wissam have to do now to avoid that takedown? Because the entry came from so far away. You're gonna see right here what he needs to do. He needs to avoid what happened there, the beautiful level change in the timing. In order to throw that off, he's gotta be, he's gotta be staccato with his footwork. If he starts to move in a, in, a, in a predictable fashion in any way, he's gonna get taken down again, and I don't believe he'll be able to stand back up. 
And you have to say, it's got to be more of the same from Mohamed Zuhair's corner. They've got to be happy with what they've seen in those first three minutes. Oh, without a shadow of a doubt, it's pretty much lather, rinse, repeat right now for the young man. What he needs to be wary of is a potential of the, the likes of an uppercut when you're shooting from so far away. Now, it was a beautiful takedown, turned the corner expertly. But if, if Wizan or his corner get wise to that and he has a, an uppercut loaded, it could be very dangerous. Set for round number two here at Brave 47, Combat Kingdom. Fantastic setting. We are at Fort Arad. And these two young flyweights set to go at it once again. You can see the damage there on the eye of Wizam from the. Uh, A lot of swell on there, isn't it, Brian? Certainly is. Wizam in the blue corner, Mohamed Zuhair in the red. Just look how loose the movement on Mohamed Zuhair. Almost baiting him in. You can tell that he's going to look to change those levels and get it back to the mat as soon as he can. There you go. How good is the defensive wrestling here, boys? But that is so tenacious. In on that single leg, just pops the leg of his opponent right out and again lands in the dominant position. And is this going to be uh, pretty much a mirror image of the first round? Well, you talked about in the first round, Kirik, how the fence can be your friend if you're trying to get back up, but it can be your enemy for your uh, if you're trying to avoid the takedown. And we saw that there with Mohamed Zuhair. He had nowhere to go as far as sprawling, and that was just, uh, sorry, from Wizam. And uh, Mohamed Zuhair was able to utilize that to get it down to the mat and this time in side control. Wissam wants to go elbow, knee, hand, foot and try and drive himself back up to standing where he's going to be able to quit himself better. Ooh. He has not been able to so far. He's getting into deeper and deeper water. They Those knee knees, shots man. are going to have an effect. Look at the way they're coming back, Phil. You, you made the noise. Imagine what they feel like. The talk on those knees coming down from Mohamed Zuhair. And look how intelligent the hips are here of Zuhair. He, he felt uh, that a little bit of movement from his opponent. He switched the scarf. Very, very smart. More pressure. Just a miserable spot to be in for Wizam. That forearm in his face. Stepping over to full mount now is Mohamed. Oh, it was like a hot knife through butter. And if he can posture here and get some strikes off, it could be game over. Wizam on bottom. What does he need to do from this position, Kirik? He's got two, he's got three main options. One he tried earlier, which is a backdoor escape. This is the worst possible response for him. Oh, he's now giving up in. his back. He's giving his opponent leverage, and ultimately he's going to give up his neck. Peppering with shots is Muhammad Zahir looking to open up, see if he flattens out. Wizam. He's a little bit high up the body. I'd like to see him get down a little bit if he's to flatten his opponent out. But he's landing lots and lots of little pot shots here. And this being an amateur bout, the more he lands of these, the greater the likelihood the fight will get stopped. Looking so comfortable. Round one, he looked fantastic, but round two really has elevated it once more. A dominant, dominant performance here from Mohamed Zuhair. We can see Sadakli try and tripod here a little bit, try and get up and almost shuck his opponent off his back. He's trying to do the right things, but those hooks look like they're in deep, gentlemen. The patient work as well from Mohamed. He's not rushing anything. He's maintaining position, keeping those shots coming. Now he's looking to lock up the submission. Can he get this? Oh, there's the oh, tap, over. it's over! As tap, you said, tap, tap. as you said, Brian, that was a beautiful illustration of patience in mixed martial arts. Solidified the position and just methodically worked for it. And there we have some acrobatics at the end. We looked, I mean, he showed us a flair with the, the celebration there, but look at the fundamentals this young man brings to the cage, the takedowns, the positional understanding, and then the patience to wait out for that submission. We're Sam looking very disappointed with that, but he just came up against an absolute beast in Mohamed Zuhair. He did, and what we saw here is one of the fundamental principles of mixed martial arts, and that's position before submission. If you can secure position, there are multiple ways to end the fight. You can take an arm, you can take the neck, you can win with strikes, but you have to have solid fundamentals. You have to have that beautiful positioning, and that's what we saw right here from Mohamed Zahir. Talk us through the replay, Phil. This is the tap. What, what, what you didn't see there was, was how he transitioned to that. So he took the back beautifully. He landed some beautiful little pot shots to loosen up the opponent, gets the rear naked choke, elicits the tap, and moves to 5-0 and oh as an amateur mixed martial artist. And not a mark on him. Look at how fresh that young man looks. The KHK, the Bahraini flag is flown high already in this cage. It will once again. So let's make it official. Let's hand it to Carlos Kramer. All right, Brave Nation, another exciting bout. This one is stopped at two minutes and 43 seconds of the very second round. Your winner by rear naked choke from KHK MMA and the Magnificent 